Thank you so much for coming. Yes. For agreeing to stay in Riga and for agreeing to share your experience. The first question is the following. I know I have already been warned that you have been asked this many times, but we have a new audience. It will be for Magazine Mystery. Our readers are meeting you for the first time, which is why I'm asking this question again. What does it mean to get the mantle of the messenger of the Great White Brotherhood? What does it mean? How can a person earn it? Well, the mantle is not a reward. It is not a medal which is given for service. Yes, I understand that. <laughs> the masters don't fully explain in the dictations the meaning of what a mantle is. They talk about the mantle, but do not explain it. Can you say that this is like the mission of your life? No. No? No. I'll try to explain my understanding of it, how I understand it. Well, first of all, it is maybe, it is something, maybe it is something similar to credentials. When, for example, an ambassador from Russia comes to Latvia, he provides his credentials. In about the same way, the masters grant their credentials, but it is not on the physical plane, but on the subtle plane. It is some kind of energetic substance, and at the same time, it can facilitate. One can say it is a tool which helps to hear the masters. That is how you can explain it. It can also be said that it is some kind of um, equipment. For example, when a person works with high voltage, he has these rubber gloves and boots, so he doesn't get electrocuted. Probably, when I work with the high energies of the masters, I also need some equipment that would protect me. And the next thing that it can be is, uh, as the masters told me once, something similar to muzzles or strict colors. For example, if I keep going and then suddenly veer off to the right a little, they can correct me a little bit. And how do you feel it? How does it happen? That moment, how do you feel it? I will answer this question, but I just wanted to explain a little bit more about the mantle. A very broad, big teaching about the mantles was given by Elizabeth Clare Prophet, and she spoke more on this subject. But unfortunately, maybe she is the one you need to read. But I can say that now a lot of people claim to be messengers. There are a lot of them. For example, dozens of people have written to me saying that they're messengers and asking me to read their dictations. But apparently people don't understand all the dangers of this work. Thanks to Elizabeth Clare Prophet, people found out, at least I found out, about two people who had the messenger mantles as well. Or they tried to deserve them. But for certain reasons, they couldn't do it. For example, thanks to Elizabeth Clare Prophet, we know such name as Francis Icke. Francis Icke, sometime in the 1950s, at the end of the 1950s, she lived in America and she was working with Mark Prophet. And to earn, as you say, the mantle of the messenger, she had to go through certain tests. And when she was going through them, she couldn't endure that. She couldn't withstand them. And one time, when she was somewhere out on a boat or on a yacht, she took a lot of sleeping pills and she was swept away by a wave. It was a sad accident. And then the masters had to look for a replacement. And that is how they found Elizabeth Clare Prophet. 
At the same time as the prophets, or a little earlier, there was Geraldine Innocent. Geraldine Innocent also lived in America, but it's not her real name, because Innocent is derived from the word innocence. It's her pseudonym. She worked with the Ascendant Masters for a long time, received a lot of messages or dictations. But she also died from an overdose of sleeping pills. But Elizabeth Clare Prophet thought that she committed suicide. So I want to say that this mantle of the messenger, or this position of the messenger, or this job, is very dangerous. It's very dangerous, and Elizabeth Clare Prophet herself was describing how she was going through these tests for the right to serve the masters. And I can say that I was also going through such tests. It was in 2002, and for four months I was going through these tests. But at that time I didn't understand that it was the test for the right to take the position of a messenger. But the tests were very hard. Those were the tests that involved all the bodies. In addition, life circumstances change in such a way that you get deprived of everything. You get fired from your job. All your friends leave you for some reason. So it's some kind of examination to see how you will react, right? Probably it is an examination. But when you find yourself inside the situation, you don't realize that it is an examination. Of course. Then there are also very difficult psychological states. The masters do something that makes all my problems get worse. So every person has his or her own problems. For example, the fear of death or the fear of solitude or there are some other phobias. And all this begins to worsen. It simply intensifies greatly. And the conditions may be so difficult that it's even impossible to get up and go to the kitchen to cook some food for yourself. So these are very complicated psychological states. I told you about Francis Icke and Geraldine Innocent for a reason. It is simply very hard to endure. In that way, it continued for four months. I lived in the city of Omsk. It's a city with a population of over a million people. It was September, October, November and December. Four months. And everything was done in such a way that even when I went outside, there was nobody there. I was like in a desert, although there were people living everywhere around me. But it was a desert for me, it was a desert. Despite being in that state, I was meditating every day. I meditated every day, and then at the end of December, Lord Maitreya came to me. He comes to me, and I feel the state of some kind of calmness and humbleness. And I come to the conclusion that if God wishes, wants me to die, why should I oppose it? God gave me the life, God takes the life, it's His right. And that thought made me feel very good and calm. And this feeling of complete humbleness came to me. The next day I meditate again and Lord Maitreya comes again. What is it like? Do you feel him? Or is there some image? I don't see anybody and I don't hear anything. You just know that he is present. I don't see anybody and I don't hear anybody. And I have never heard or seen anybody. But I receive messages somehow. But how does it happen? It's hard to say, right? You just know that right at that moment you need to sit down at the computer or not? Or do you write by hand? No. So, look. 
In the beginning, I have to establish the connection with my higher self. The main task was to set up the connection with my higher self. And once that connection with your higher self is achieved, then through your higher self you can appeal to a teacher. It is during the meditation, right? Yes, during the meditation. And theoretically, during the meditation, every day I can ask a question, but I can ask only the Master, who is my teacher at that moment. And theoretically, this connection is possible every day, every day during the meditation, I can ask. But before, I was asking a lot, for every reason and for no reason at all. Now, I almost never ask about anything, because I understand that all this contact, all this communication, takes place on some planes much higher than the mental plane. So during the meditation, an exchange of energy takes place. And the most important thing is the energy. Do you see? Neither words, nor thoughts, nothing, just the energy. That is the most important. So this energetic contact goes on during meditation. And when the meditation is over, do you write it all down? Ah, do you mean how I receive the dictations? Yes. yes. Dictations. In the past, about half a year in advance, I was always told the exact dates when the dictations would be given. And it would happen exactly during the time that I was told. If I am told that a dictation should start on June 21st, then by that time I have to find a place where the dictations can be received. 